Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today, let's learn about the anatomy of vermiform appendix. So, the appendix or vermiform appendix is a muscular structure attached to the large intestine in the human body. So, to get more knowledge about this, let's begin. In this video, I'm going to enumerate an introduction, dimension and positions of vermiform appendix, also the appendicular orifice, lumen of appendix, the peritoneal relations, blood supply, nerve supply, lymphatic drainage, and histology and finally we are going to also discuss about some important clinical anatomy related to it. So let's start. The appendix is a worm-like diverticulum arising from the posterior medial wall of the cecum about 2 cm below the ileocecal orifice. Dimensions The length varies from 2 to 20 cm with an average of 9 cm. It is longer in children than in adults. The diameter is about 5 mm. The lumen is quite narrow and may be obliterated after mid-adult life. Positions The appendix lies in the right iliac fossa. Although the base of the appendix is fixed, the tip can point in any direction. The positions are often compared to those of the hour hand of a clock. The appendix may pass upward to the right. This is paracolic or levano clock position. It may lie behind the cecum or colon known as retrocecal or 12 o'clock position right here. This is the commonest position of appendix about 65 percentage. The appendix may pass upward to the left also. It points towards the spleen. This is the splenic or 2 o'clock position. The appendix may lie in front of the ileum, pre-ileal or behind the ileum or post-ileal. The post-ileal type is the most dangerous type. It may pass horizontally to the left as if pointing to the sacral promontory called promontric or 3 o'clock position right here. It may descend into the pelvic region or it is otherwise called 4 o'clock position right here. It may also lie below the cecum that is subsecal and may point towards the inguinal ligament called mid inguinal or 6 o'clock position right here. So to understand this is how it looks like. This right here is the paracolic or 11 o'clock position this one is the 12 o'clock position or retrocolic position which is the most commonest type and this was what I was talking about the 3 o'clock position and this right here is the promontric or 3 o'clock past 3 o'clock position and this is the pelvic or the 4 o'clock position and this one here is the mid inguinal or 6 o'clock position possessed by almost 2 percentage. Now let's move on to the appendicular orifice. The appendicular orifice is situated on the postromedial aspect of the cecum 2 cm below the ileocecal orifice. This right here is the ileocecal orifice and 2 cm below we can appreciate the appendicular orifice. The appendicular orifice is occasionally guarded by an indistinct semilunar fold of mucous membrane known as the valve of Kerlach. The orifice is marked on the surface by a point situated 2 cm below the junction of transtubercular and right lateral planes. Lumen of appendix. It is quite small and may be partially or completely obliterated after mid-adult life. 
peritoneal relations. The appendix is suspended by a small triangular fault of peritoneum called mesoappendix or appendicular mesentery. The fault passes upwards behind the ileum and is attached to the left layer of the mesentery. Now let's learn about the blood supply. The appendicular artery is a branch of the lower division of iliocolic artery. This right here is the iliocolic artery and it's branching to become appendicular artery right here. Here it gives a recurrent branch which anastomoses with the branch of the posterior cecal artery. This is the posterior cecal artery. The main artery runs down, uh, towards the tip of the appendix lying at first near to and then in the free border of the mesoappendix. The terminal part of the artery lies actually on the wall of appendix. Blood from the appendix is drained by the appendicular, iliocolic and superior mesenteric veins to the portal vein. Nerve supply. Sympathetic nerves are derived from thoracic 9 and 10 segments through the celiac plexus. Parasympathetic nerves are derived from the vagus. Referred pain of appendix is felt at umbilicus similar to that of small intestine and testis. Lymphatic drainage. Most of the lymphatics pass directly to the iliocolic nodes right here, but a few of them pass indirectly through the appendicular nodes situated in the mesoappendix. Histology. The lumen of the appendix is very narrow. There are no villi. The epithelium invaginates to form cribs of Libercun. Muscularis mucosa is ill-defined. Submucosa reveals many lymphoid masses. Right here. That is why it is called abdominal tonsil. Muscularis externa comprises two layers. Outermost is the serous layer. Clinical anatomy. Inflammation of the appendix is known as appendicitis seen in adolescent age. In this condition, it is usually necessary to remove the appendix. The operation for removal of the appendix is called appendicectomy. Number 2. Pain caused by appendicitis is first felt in the region of the umbilicus. This is referred pain. Both the appendix and the umbilicus are innervated by segment T10 of the spinal cord, appendix by sympathetic fibers and umbilicus by somatic fibers. With increasing inflammation, pain is felt in the right iliac fossa. This is caused by involvement of the parietal peritoneum of the region. Remember that parietal peritoneum is sensitive to pain but visceral peritoneum is not. Appendicitis is common because number 1. Presence of lymphatic follicles in submucosa. Number 2. Appendicular artery is an end artery. Number 3. As the lumen is small, it gets obstructed by phacolith. Number 4. Gaps in muscular is external cause fast spread of infection. Number 3. McBurney's point is the site of maximum tenderness in appendicitis. The point lies at the junction of the lateral one-third and the medial two-third of the line joining the umbilicus to the right anterior superior iliac spine. It corresponds roughly to the position of the base of the appendix. Examination of a case of acute appendicitis reveals following physical signs. A. Hyperesthesia in the 
right iliac fossa b tenderness at mcburney's point c muscle guard and rebound tenderness over the appendix when the appendix is retrocecal extension of the hip joint may cause pain because the appendix is disturbed by stretching of psoas major muscle number 5 in pelvic appendicitis pain may be felt when the thigh is flexed and medially rotated because the obturator internus is stretched here number 6 appendicular dyspepsia chronic appendicitis produces dyspepsia resembling disease of stomach duodenum or gallbladder it is due to passage of infected lymph to the subpyloric nodes which cause irritation of pylorus there is history of earlier acute appendicitis hope you have understood the video like subscribe and press the bell button for more videos Thank you. Thanks for watching.